Hi all, I'm going to showcase how to create a decomposition tree visualization in Power BI. So let's select this particular decomposition tree from the visualization pane. So here we have a couple of options, analyze and explain by. So you can analyze the data and you can explain across different levels. Okay, decomposition tree visualization in Power BI lets you visualize across different levels. So just drag and drop the sales into analyze and uh, you can make use of multiple dimensions across explained by. It is also has uh, an artificial intelligence. It, we can also call it as artificial intelligence visualization. So let's, let's make use of category in explained by and we can also drag multiple dimensions here. So let's say region and you can also make use of subcategory here. So I do have three dimensions. It automatically aggregates the data and enables drill down into your dimensions in any particular order. So we have an advantage, let's say uh, you have the grand total sales, just click on this plus button. So you have an advantage of artificial intelligence option. That's what AI splits. So these two are like AI splits option where you are uh, getting a bulb symbol, high value and low value. So I can use AI splits to figure out where you should uh, look into the data. So these splits appear at the top of the list and uh, this marked as a bubble. Let's click on high value. When you click on high value, so you can see uh, you have a bubble here. So that means uh, this is what AI split. So whenever you are going to enable AI splits, you are going to identify by making use of this bubble symbol. So the splits are there to help you to find high and low values in the data automatically. So this analysis can work in two ways depending on your preferences, whether it is a high value and whether it is a low value. So this is what one of the advantage with AI splits. Let me showcase that. If you want to uh, disable, you can also disable that specific option. So enable AI splits. So whenever you are going to disable, so let's close this. <coughs> so when you click on this plus button, so what are all the dimensions which you have placed here? You're, you're getting only those dimensions or something like you can drill across that specific dimensions, category, region, or subcategory. But with, by making use of AI splits, right? Let's go back to analysis, enable AI splits. So where you can enable and you can by default, it identifies the highest value. Just click on the high value. It identifies the dimension where to go. So this is what category it identifies the highest value and you can see the dotted line here and you can also uh, uh, when you use AI splits you can also see the bulb symbol. So just click on this plus button and let's say I want to go for a low value and this is also uh, comes under AI splits. So if you want to use high value or a low, low value based on the AI splits you can make use of this particular option. So this is one of the best functionality in decomposition tree visualization. So, or you have an option to go for locked as well. Let's go back, just cancel this. So just click on this drop, uh, plus button. So let's say I want to drill down to category level and uh, you can drill across region level. And now I want to lock this particular uh, levels. So I have a, region level and I do have a category level. So I just log these two levels and you can drill down across next level that is what subcategory level. So if you're going to log this particular option, you cannot cancel these two levels. So you can do the analysis across multiple levels and you can close subcategory level. So we have an option to go for locking of these levels. That is what explained by. So you can see here we have analyze and explain by. Okay. So we have artificial intelligence functionality where this makes, uh, it, it is a valuable tool for ad hoc exploration and conducting root cause for anal like a root cause analysis where whatever the percentage, let's say uh, we are showcasing this particular data in a regular sales value. So if you want to showcase the same data in a percentage of total and you can also calculate the same or you can identify how much percentage calculation happens across this particular level. So you have technology, furniture and office supplies. Overall percentage is 100 and you can drill down across next level. So that is what technology 
36 percentage is split into a different uh, region wise you can see east west central and south those aggregated data is like 36 percentage so when you click on furniture so you have to click on that particular furniture uh, a blue colored one so you are going to get furniture data furniture aggregated data and when you click on office supplies you're going to get office supplies percentage of whatever the aggregated data across that region wise office supplies data so this is what uh, the decomposition tree visualization in power bi so this helps a lot uh, to understand the data across multiple levels and yes we have uh, uh, we can go for maximum of 50 levels and we can showcase uh, up to 5000 data points so hope you understand this particular visualization and uh, yeah uh, please subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot for watching.